thank you for watching Edupedia World Videos. In this lecture, we will cover how the credit management functionality available in the SAP SD application supports the credit management function in an organization. We will discuss the concepts of credit management, look closely at customization, and show you the process set up with the help of the settings we have created for our imaginary company. SAP Credit Management is an application that helps organizations monitor, evaluate, and control credit situations and credit allocations. It allows you to grant credit terms to your customers and also perform credit checks on the sales transactions. When you implement credit management in your SAP instance, you map your organization's credit policies into the credit management application. Customers I aligned with these credit policy rules on the basis of the information collected from various sources, such as customers, past transactional history, the customers' credit reports available from credit agencies, and many, many others. Each credit-related sales transaction is then monitored and evaluated with respect to these rules or policies, and the results of the evaluation help the organization decide whether to sell goods or not. A credit check is a comparison of the customer's credit exposure with the customer's available credit limit setup in the credit master records. We will talk about credit master records later, but first we will talk about customization of credit management in SAP ERP system. The customization of credit management in SAP ERP system includes the following steps. First step, defining a credit control area. Next step, assigning the credit control area to a company code and sales areas. After that, defining the permitted credit control area for a company code. Next step, defining credit risk categories. After that, setting up credit groups. Next step, assigning credit groups to sales documents and delivery documents. Determine active receivables per item category. And setting up credit checks. Now we will talk about first step in detail. So the first step, defining a credit control area. A credit control area is an organizational unit responsible for monitoring, evaluating and controlling the credit management operations. Defining a credit control area is the first step in the customization of the credit management functionality in the SAP SD application. You can define the credit control area by using transaction code. O B forty five or you can follow S P R O menu pass. Click on S C P reference sign G. Go to Enterprise Structure Go to Definition Financial Accounting and click on Define Credit Control Area On the customization screen, you can create new entry by pressing new entries 
or you can create a new entry as copy as reference from one of the existing reference. We will now try the second uh, second step and copy as reference. So we select our entry which we will use as a reference and press button copy as a reference. Now you see some fields here. Now we will talk in detail about each field on the screen. First field, credit control area. Here you provide the identifier key for your credit control area along with a meaningful description. The key can be up to 4 characters long. We can set up TS, TS. Next field is currency. Here you maintain the currency for the credit control area. Credit limits are maintained in the credit control area currency in scenarios where the currency is uh, of the assigned company code is different from the credit control area currency. The credit exposure of the customers under such company calls is converted into the credit control area currency for the purpose of credit checks and related decision making. In our test credit control area, we will set Euro as a currency. Next block is data for updating SD and first field update. In the CP, credit exposure is a sum of special liabilities, open receivables, open orders, open deliveries, and open billings. Update rules control when and how the data related to open orders, open deliveries, open billing and open AR is updated in the calculation of the credit exposure. You can choose one of the following update groups that are available in standard SAP. If the field is left blank, the SAP credit management application ignores the SD documents and considers only open receivables and open special GL items for calculating credit exposure. If the value is 00012, open order value on time axis, delivery and bill documents value. This update rule is available for a sales order cycle that involves delivery. In the event that a new order is created, the open order value is added to the exposure. When the order is delivered, the open order value is subtracted from the exposure and the open delivery value is added to the exposure. On billing the delivery, the open delivery value is subtracted from the exposure and the open billing value is added to the exposure. When the billing passes through accounting, the open billing value is subtracted and the open AR value is added to the exposure. Next update rule is open delivery and billing document value. Use this rule if you want SAP to calculate the exposure without considering the open sales order value. In this rule, when the order is delivered, the open delivery value is added to the exposure. On billing generation, the open delivery value is subtracted from the exposure and the open billing value is added to the exposure. When the billing passes to accounting, the open billing value is subtracted and the open AR value is added to the exposure. The exposure is finally reduced when the cash is applied against the open AR. 
Next rule, open delivery value for sales order. Open billing document value. This is relevant for non-delivery relevant orders only. When a new order is created, the open delivery value is added to the exposure. When the order is built, the open delivery value is subtracted from the exposure and the open billing is added to the exposure. When the billing passed to accounting, the open billing value is subtracted and the open AR value is added to the exposure. The exposure is finally reduced when the cash is applied against the open AR. In our test scenario, we will use open order value on time axis and delivery and billing document value. 0, 0, 0, 0, 12. Double click. Next field on the screen is FY variant. In SAP, the fiscal or financial year of organization is divided into a number of periods, a posting period and special periods. Fiscal year variant is the term used to represent and control these posting periods. When a document is posted into accounting, a fiscal year variant along with the posting date helps determine the posting period and fiscal year for posting the accounting entry into the correct period. You should enter a fiscal year variant for your credit control area if the company codes that you will be assigning to your credit control area use different fiscal year variants. If they all use the same fiscal year variant, you can leave this field blank. The reason for this is that an SAP in credit values updated in the tables are recorded per posting period. In cases where assigned company codes have different fiscal year variants, determining the correct posting period becomes difficult. The posting period in such scenarios can be determined only if you assign a default fiscal year variant to your credit control area. Next block is default data for automatically creating new customers. The fields in this section of the customization screen are for creating the default credit check related settings for new customers who have not been granted any credit terms. Provide default values in these fields if you want to perform credit checks on orders from new customers who have not yet been granted credit limits. We will discuss the credit check setup for new customers later, in, in, in maybe next lecture. And organizational data. We see here checkbox, all company codes. Select this checkbox if you want to apply your credit control area to all the company codes that exists in your SAP instance. We will leave this field unchecked. So now we can press enter. and press save button. We can go back to the SAP Easy Access menu. Now we have successfully completed the first step in customization and we are ready to move to the next step.
Next step is assigning the credit control area to a company code and sales area. Once defined, the credit control area needs to be assigned to the required sales areas and company codes. This way, you maintain a link between credit management, FI and the SD application so you can monitor, evaluate and control the credit transactions taking place in the assigned company codes and sales areas. You can assign a company code to a credit control area using SPRO transaction by following next menu pass. Enterprise structure, assignment, financial accounting, Assign company code to credit control area. Double click. Always remember that a credit control area can have multiple company codes, but a company code can be assigned to only one default credit control area. Now you see the customization screen for assigning company codes to a credit control area. The assignment is very simple. The company, the company code data is already populated on the customization screen. You just need to maintain the corresponding credit control area in the credit control area field for all the required company codes. For example, we can use SAP AG company code and def uh, assign our new credit control area TS TS. We can put this value manually or we can use find option to find our necessary credit control area. We see here the list of all credit control areas in the system and we see here our newly created credit control area and we can just double click on it. After that we can save our changes. We see the message, the data was saved. And after that, we can move to our next step. Assign sales area to credit control area. Okay, so we are at IMG Pass and we see here enterprise structure. After that, we click again on Assignment and now we need to click on Sales and Distribution. After that, click on Assign Sales Area to Credit Control Area. The sales area is automatically populated on the configuration screen. You only need it to assign it to assign credit control area to the sales area. So we use the position button uh, to cursor on the required sales area and maintain necessary credit control area. In our case, TSTS. 
We can copy it and paste to multiple for two sales servers. For sales organization 0001. Just for test. And press save button. After that, we can move to the next to the first uh, SAP ZX screen. And we complete our second step in configuration. Now we can move to the next step in configuration credit management. And we will continue in our next lecture. Thank you for watching EduPedia World Videos.